Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved Vanilla server. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well, and I just got back from doing some drop hunting, and I want to show you guys what I was lucky enough to get. Let's go ahead and open this up. You'll see two platform saddles. One is an Ascendant Bronto platform saddle, and the other one is a Journeyman Plesio saddle. So that is really cool. We got those. Uh, this one has an armor rating of 48. This one has an armor rating of 99. Both of those are really, really cool. And then over here, I got a new scuba tank. And I want to show you guys this. Mastercraft scuba tank. Yeah. Uh, durability is 170. The hypoth uh, hypothermic insulation on this guy is 151.7. Uh, so that is pretty awesome. That's That durability, uh, I think, on like a primitive one is 40. So that's like, what, three, almost four times longer of a durability than what we normally have to deal with. So that is downright awesome. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to using that more and more and more because I'm, I'm going to be heading out and, uh, you know, doing some drop hunting here and there. That plus seed that I have is actually getting to be really fast. The mosa, not so much. Uh, I might need to go get a Mosasaurus. But as you guys may or may not have seen, we are now level 85. So what does that mean? That means that we have learned the Industrial Forge. That's right. The Industrial Forge. I'm super excited about that. Uh, that means we'll be able to get a forge over here by us, and I'll be able to use one here at the base. So not only is that going to mean that we're going to need to renovate the base a little bit, but we're going to need to gather some resources. So um, uh, this right here, we'll need 2,500 metal ingots, uh, 250 crystal, 600 cementing paste, 400 oil, and 400 polymer. Now, the polymer is gonna actually be the little bit of a tough spot because I, I let's check out what I've got I've put a lot of stuff over here on moon wings because moon wings I've leveled them up quite a bit but uh, we've got 113 polymer got 250 crystal we've got a hundred or 260 oil and uh, only about 22 cementing paste so I'm gonna need to jump on my frog right over here we got toadette and uh, I am going to need to head on over to the swamp biome and get 600 cementing paste. And that is pretty much where we have to start our day off at. Um, that's going to be the easy part. Then we're going to take Moonwings over to the snow biome and uh, get uh, get that guy all settled and taken care of. And, you know, then we'll uh, make that industrial forge. Now, like I said, we're going to have to change up the way our base works just a little bit. And I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. So um, I'm trying to keep that in mind as well while I head over here to the swamp biome. So yeah, let me go ahead and gather up this cementing paste and I'll bring you guys right back just as soon as we got it. All right, guys, I've got everything gathered except for the metal. So now it is time. Oh, has someone got metal cooking in here? Oh, someone's got metal cooking in here. Um, I don't know who would be on the server. There's no one on with me. Uh... Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Oh, the the volcano is completely cleared out. Weird. All right. Um, I guess I'll have to wait a minute. All right, guys. Coming in with the last load of metal. I actually came back to my base to do all the crafting and everything. Um, the reason for that was Slip was actually up at the volcano doing stuff up there. So I decided that I was going to come down here. He uh, actually finished up and left a whole bunch of metal to me. So that's actually really, really helped out. And so I'm going to grab the rest here. Should be all that we need. Another more little load here. All right, let's see. 100, 100 uh, 200. I can carry like 300 at a time, which is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. All right, so here we go. Ba boom, ba boom. Yep, there we go. And craft. Look at all of those materials just gone in a heartbeat, like in a flash. They're just gone, just gone, gone, gone. And I actually need to repair some of my armor as well. A lot of it got pretty beat up over the course of the last few days, and I decided that I do need to go ahead and, and fix it up a little bit. 
Uh, I've been throwing some other stuff in here. I, I need to go through and figure out where I want all materials to go and kind of figure out, you know, where I want all my blueprints to go and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, we should have all of my gear fixed up now. There we go. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put it on since I'm naked. And uh, bad thing is I lost my nerdy glasses when in that snow cave. So that was a little unfortunate. Now, this thing's huge. Like, absolutely super huge. And uh, we don't currently have a place inside that where we can put it. So I was kind of thinking maybe... No, it's even it's too wide for that location. Um, let's go see. Do we have any stone building materials? Let's go ahead and gamma up here a little bit. Check and see if I have any stone building materials. If not, I'll have to go make some. Or I'll have to do what I planned on doing in the first place. I'd rather get this to work, but if not, what I'm going to do is I'll just place the, the furnace on top of the base and kind of get it going from there. But it looks like, yeah, neither side is really going to allow the enlargening of this area. So that's really unfortunate. And I couldn't go, I don't think I can go any further back, back here. Yeah, it all snaps in. So it looks like we are just going to go have to go on, going to have to place it on top. Now to do that, we're going to need some ramps because we need a way to get up and down. So let's run back over here. Uh, and we'll just need a, like I said, a, a way to get up and down to be able to, you know, do what we need to do here. Here's some ramps, probably two or three is probably going to be enough. Uh, shouldn't need that many. I'll just run back over here. Oh, you know what I want to? If I have this, if not, I'll, I'll, I won't do it this episode, but, uh, let's see. Oh, I got 31 of those things. That's awesome. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and line the ceiling in, uh, in railings because you know, that's going to work out best. All right. So let's see. I'm thinking probably right here is where it's going to start. And then, oh wait, you know what? Maybe right here. There we go. Now, it does come down a little bit in front of the door. But that's not too big of a deal. We use the other door much more often anyway. And then we can go ahead and place this guy. Or plan placing this guy, like right here. But I'm also curious how far back it goes. So let's see... Oh, it does still hang off the top. Hmm. I might actually need to do this another way and place it this way. Because I always, I forget how big this machine actually is. Like, it's just absolutely phenomenal how big it is. All right, let's see. Can I not zoom back any further? All right, so come up just a little bit. Looks like it might need to just come this way just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and place it there. There's our industrial forge. Now this thing is absolutely huge. So it's it's kind of a bummer, but um, you know, we didn't really build our base for the machine. So it shouldn't really affect too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some railings around the top of this building. That way it's nice and safe. I had originally hoped to put it inside, but I really, you know, it's been so long since I've built one that uh, I kind of forgot how big they actually were. So that's a little unfortunate on my part, but hey, what you gonna do? Let's go ahead and just finish this off here. There we go. All right, now we have a giant industrial forge here. We have some new stuff in here that way we can, you know, build and whatnot. We're going to have a good chunk of metal because I actually went over and was doing some processing of my own uh, to just get, you know, ahead before Slipgator left me all the metal. So, yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff. Um, I don't know that there's anything else really that we need to make for a forge. Like, what else did we unlock? Probably the minigun turret, the Mosa uh, platform saddle was definitely something we unlocked. And then this is a rocket launcher, rocket launcher turret, which is not really necessary for us. So 
I'm kind of thinking this is going to be okay. All right, guys, got everything kind of up and running, and I've just kind of been messing around here a little bit. I thought that I would go ahead and place the uh, railings around this. That way, you know, you don't trip and fall or anything. You know, you don't fall in the hole. But I wanted to try this out. I, I wasn't sure if you could actually make gasoline inside the forge. So I wanted to go ahead and put that in there, and I'll see if it works. But uh, there is just a little bit of metal left in everything, so I'm going to let that all process over there. Uh, put unrefined resources in to refine them. Oil and hide, I assumed, would make gasoline in these, but maybe it's just a regular forge thing. I, it's Like I said, it's been so long, so long since I've actually done this that I don't really remember how a lot of it works. It does! Oh, it just made 100 gasoline. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to let that run, and then I need to gather up some wood because... I want to make a buttload, like a buttload of charcoal uh, for the Argentavis uh, thing, for the um, for guns, for ammunition, because you know we don't really have a whole lot. Uh, I've burned through like every little bit that we had uh, over at my base, at least, and uh, you know burned through most of what some of the other guys had. So I kind of feel bad. I kind of want to repay him a little bit. Now, Argentavis eggs I won't pick up, but carbon enemy eggs I will. There we go. Perfect. Uh, is there a Tyrannodon egg over here, too? What is this? Egg City? That's kind of what it is, isn't it? Egg City. There's Dodo eggs. I'm not worried about Dodo eggs. All right. So we come up here. I'm going to hit the gate. Um, I really need to, like, bust down this platform saddle on the Bronto over here. And I need to go ahead and switch it out for the the good one that we got from the Deep Sea Loot Crates. Um, I was really kind of hoping to find some good winter gear. Um, I was super excited to find that Mastercraft, um, that Mastercraft, uh scuba tank i thought that was really cool and i thought it would be pretty useful and you know what i might try and see if that's something that i can actually take into the swamp cave and if it'll matter or you know if it'll help or not um i'm not really sure if it will i'm I, you know i don't know if it's if it's a uh like a um insulation thing or i don't think it is i think it's just like a poison thing but that should be a good chunk of wood to get started with we're gonna head back over i'm gonna throw this into the forge and start making a ton a ton a ton of charcoal that way you know i can uh, start to get a large amount of guns and ammunition because i i do think those caves really need to have a lot of ammunition and we haven't done the swamp cave yet and the swamp cave definitely needs to needs to be done. I am looking forward to it. But um, you know what I just realized is that there's no way for me to get this beaver up there. There's no external dino area up there so I can take him. So I might, uh, for right now, I'm just going to carry it. Looks like I can carry 600. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to carry it, but uh, I might need to look at that again in the future. Alright guys, I decided that I wanted to see if this Mastercraft piece made a difference when it came to this cave. Now, I, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, I have no idea, but I'm assuming that it, it would, something about this would make a difference. So I've actually, I just brought it, I brought a full, a, almost a full set. But I wanted to see, you know, if it made a difference. So let's come in here. There we go. Let the cave load. Let's see. Are we going to take damage? Oh, yeah, we're still taking damage. Okay. So with that said, um, I might need to put on the goggles. Let's see. Does the goggles? All right. No. What about the pants? All right, the pants are still doing it. Um, I have the flippers in the ghillie suit. All 
All right, it seems like I'm no longer taking damage. Now, is that the flippers? Let's try the ghillie suit feet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Now, what if I swap out the headpiece? Yeah, okay, so that, I'm still taking damage. Now, what if I switch that to the ghillie? Yeah, still taking damage. So the goggles. Uh, what if I put on the gilly pants? Yeah, still doing it. All right. So it almost seems you need three pieces. There are Meganura in there. There are Pulmonoscorpius in there. I was just curious if the Mastercraft would make a difference. It'd be nice if the Mastercraft could be combined in some way. Maybe, I guess, we'll get that maybe in the tech uh, the tech side of things, the tech tier of ARC. But if we could combine this with a um, something that actually offered armor, because even this Mastercraft one does not offer any armor whatsoever. And so that's kind of a bummer. I am I'm a little... I am bummed. <laughs> like I said, it, it's a bummer. I, I'm very much... I was hoping that you would be able to get away with that, but it does not appear to be the case. So, I guess I'm going to head back. I was going to go a little bit further in there, but I don't really have any ammunition or anything. So, I think I uh, probably am just going to head back home. Alright, guys. I've got a lot of stuff built here, as you can see. Oh, is this thing still on? Oh, yeah, it sure is. Alright, well, let's go ahead and turn that off. I guess I'll go back downstairs. Because it's, it's bright down here. It's not bright out anywhere else. But I've got 30 or so bolts for my bow, my compound bow. This is a uh, ramshackle compound bow with 125 weapon damage. Uh, it's actually really good. I, I headshot a level 76 Fiomia earlier, and it killed it um, with one shot. So that was good. I've got my rifle here that I've got 78 bullets for. It's an apprentice long neck or scoped rifle. And I've also got uh, some tranquilizer darts here for it. I've also got my simple pistol. There you go. Journeyman. Not bad. And it's got a little scope on it so it can have some nice shots. Oh, what is that? Uh, why are my dinos flying around to the Dimorphodon? Uh, excuse me. No, no, no. Hey, come here. Oh, I just shot the Quetzal in the face. This is... This is bad. Alright, I tell you what. Come here, Vision. I need your help. Let's get up there. Vision. Kill the Dimorphodon, because apparently nothing else can kill it. Oh, where is it? It's so hard to see. <clears throat> it is, it is like super hard to see. All right. Let's whistle passive here. Let's get this guy down. Because there's no reason for both these guys to be flying. And then we can shoot this guy kind of out of the way here. There you go. I killed it. Why is the vision getting up? Why are all my dinos getting up and flying away? Get down. Stop moving. Nobody gets to have a play date. All right. So there we go. We, we've got those. We've already went through a good portion. Now, I even made up an assault rifle. And this was actually the first assault rifle that I had actually made. Can you just land? Like, for real? Just land. Just stay there. Don't move. And quit being a pain in my tuchus. Um, Yeah, first assault rifle I made. I want to see if I have any attachments for it. A really uh, flashlight attachment. I kind of wanted the holoscope attachment, but the flashlight attachment might not be bad either. Um, let's see, laser attachment? Laser. What does a laser do? 
Oh, it puts a little little red dot on stuff. Oh, that's kind of neat. But it's definitely range limited. All right. <clears throat> We've got a silencer. Put that on the front of the gun there. Let's get zoomed in. Does it look like a good silencer? Does it look like a crappy little one? It does. It kind of looks like the crappy one. All right. And then we got the flashlight as well, which we can turn on and, like, do our uh, our stuff. That's pretty cool. I like the flashlight on it. I might leave the flashlight. But, yeah, we've got um, quite a few guns. So the next time we go to run into one of these caves, uh, we are definitely going to be prepared to do so. And I am going to continue, actually, to gather uh, stuff. I've got a ton of charcoal in there. Um, I did have quite a bit of spark powder and uh, other stuff, gunpowder cooking up, but I kind of ran out and I'm just going to continue to make stuff and I'm going to continue to do drop hunts and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Ark Survival Wild here on a Poopy Vault server. Have a good one.